I came to you last week with an unfortunate story about a Mexican leader, a woman, who said gays can't marry because they don't face each other during sex. We don't have to rehash that entire story, but check it out in our archives if, it, if you're curious about it. I am glad to now come to you with a positive story. Not only is it a positive story about gay rights, not only is it a positive story about gay rights from Mexico, it is also a positive story about gay rights from the Catholic Church. A Mexican Catholic bishop, Jose Raul Vera Lopez, says that homophobia is a mental illness. I love this. Let's take a look at the video. I'll, I'll just play a little bit of it. It is in Spanish, and then I'll sum up kind of the, the gist of the entire interview. Son seres humanos, son dignos de respeto. Y el Santo Padre sabe que es una, seguramente que sabe, porque muchos en la iglesia no quieren reconocer la verdad científica sobre el tema de la homosexualidad. Se quieren quedar en que la homosexualidad es una forma de perversión humana. Es una enfermedad. Todo eso ya no existe científicamente hablando. All right, so I think that this is fantastic, Lewis. He says, why would I immediately think a gay or lesbian person is perverse or depraved the moment they approach me? That's how people who are homophobic react. It's a mental illness in which you see gays as depraved and promiscuous. You have to be sick in the head for that. I've been saying this for years. It's fantastic that a member of that a Catholic bishop is saying this. It's great that a Mexican Catholic is saying this. And it's great that someone who probably is getting a lot of pressure from uh, uh, higher ups in the Catholic Church to stop saying these things. He's absolutely right. He's received death threats for being outspoken and saying homophobia is a mental illness. And this is one of the good guys, Lewis, and it is sad that they are basically outcasts within the Catholic Church. But at least they themselves have followings and people who listen to and trust them. So, hey, at least there are some of them. Absolutely. And as you remember, very often when we've actually had a number of positive stories about Catholics lately to report, which go against the child, the, the predatory child sex abuse stuff, it goes against the homophobia stuff. Just a couple of weeks ago, I told you about Sister Simone Campbell, who asked the government, why don't you help poor people? Let's do more to help poor people and was ridiculed by Republican Congressman Reed Pibble. And as we see here, uh, the, the bishop, Mr. Lopez, also an outcast, received death threats for this, but they're doing the right thing. They recognize that they are acting in a way that makes sense. They are doing what they know to be right. Isn't this really the Christian thing to do, Lewis? Of course, if, if you ask me, but uh, am, I, am I an expert, David? No, I'm, I'm just a guy with some common sense. I want to remind our audience that we're trying to get our donate your account uh, uh, status back up. For a while, we were in the top five shows on donate your account. If you don't know what donate your account is, it's this very cool online tool that allows our audience to donate either a Twitter retweet or a Facebook share to the show. You control how often we can retweet or reshare messages through your account. We only use it to send out video, uh, uh, videos from the David Pakman show. And, you know, there's a bunch of people ahead of us. The Young Turks are ahead of us. I think Sam Cedar's ahead of us in Citizen Radio. Help us climb the ranks. Please go to DonateYourAccount.com slash David Pakman Show. In 10 seconds, you can donate a Twitter retweet or a Facebook share or hopefully both. We've got close to 300 accounts now, Lewis, that are donating one, the other, or both. Help us build it back up. For a while, we were in the top five. I want to break back into that. So check it out. DonateYourAccount.com slash David Pakman Show. We've got to talk about Syria, and that's next.